Hey there, Gamer Obscura here, continuing Plants vs. Zombies. Why'd it get so dark all of a sudden? This can't be good. Oh well, hope you survive the night! And just like that, he's gone. Thanks, Crazy Dave. Oh, yeah, this level... This level can be brutal. It's dark outside of these flashes of lightning. A any zombie that we've seen so far... ...in World 4 can be coming for us. Balloon zombies, pogo zombies, I mean, you name it, it's coming. And you can't see a damn thing. And I really wish I would get something to deal with. The enemy's on the ground here. I mean, we got a star fruit, that's cool. In fact, I'm just gonna put a pumpkin there. Blover, that's not gonna help, man! I don't need a blover here, pumpkins, just to stall them. If nothing else. And... Starfruit can hopefully take care of these guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, here, put another pumpkin there. And just hope... Just hope I can get something there. Cactus should take those two guys out. Actually, why don't... We just put a pumpkin here, I suppose. Oh my gosh, please. Give me something I can work with here. Here, put him in the pumpkin. Why not? I mean, the pumpkin's designed to protect a... A plant, don't just... <laughs> like, don't just be planting pumpkins and nothing else. Holy cow. Now we have cactus. That will definitely help against the balloon zombies. But then also we have blovers. Which will do the same. Shoot, man. I'm not sure I like my setup so far. But it's what I've got to work with. Just put that back there. I don't even know, man. Now all our all our land-based rows here have defense with the cactus. We just gotta start working on the middle. Yeah, we got the sea shrooms, but they're really not that great. If I'm being honest, and I'm hearing bucket heads and oh yeah, yay. That's all we're gonna get, I think, is star fruits. I don't think we're gonna see anything else. Another magnet would be nice. Oh my goodness. I gotta wait here. Let's just wait. Oh, actually, hold on. You can put that in the pumpkin there. And another star fruit here. Oh boy, let's see. Well, let's put another cactus out, right? I mean, that's a good idea. They give us these plants so we can defend our house, right? Like, just put it somewhere. Except I can't put it on the row with the bucket head guy, which is where I want it. Um, here. Let's just do this. Uh-oh. Alright, don't do anything with that. Ooh, ooh. There we go, there we go. There we go. Alright, I think... I think we're set here. Although we've not even seen the first big wave yet. So let's see. Oh, another magnet. Thank goodness. Except where am I gonna put that? Um... Just put it there. I don't care. I know it's in front of the pumpkin, but I don't care. Something's getting munched on. Yeah, you go away, sir. What the hell? Oh my gosh. I should probably start saving some of these things. Actually, here, dig him up. We'll do that. Uh, so I don't like this. Here, dig him up. And put the magnet out. Oh, that's right. Crap. Crap. Well, no, because every row has a star fruit on it. Oh, shit. We got the balloons, that's right. Oh my goodness. Um... I, it's so- it's so random the way I have this stuff set up here. I don't even know what I want to do with the split peas. Cause I don't really need them. It's just star fruits all over the place, man. Let's just put them out, who cares? Just run with it. Split peas, we'll put them out just if for nothing else to slow things down. <laughs> and then I know where you get the, the Jack in the Box music. Oh my goodness. It just sounds ridiculous. Oh man, if I get another lily pad. Hold up, hold up. Where do I need to put the pumpkin? Where's the pumpkin going? I can't see. There, let's do it there. And another one there. I mean, like, nothing's getting through. They have to get through all these pumpkins. I mean, as per usual, the water is the weakest bit. But I think we're okay. Especially since I can put 
pumpkins out. I don't I'm not protecting the sea shrooms. They don't deserve it. I know it's kind of mean, but I saw balloons just go with the blower. Why not? Um, well here. I think it's here, but I don't want to be wrong and dig up something good. So we'll do that. Another magnet. Good, you know, like the fog wasn't bad enough. Now you just straight up can't see by design. <laughs> like, what the hell, man? Ay, ay, ay. And it's just nothing but star fruits. And, I mean, you can't take them with you, so we might as well just put them out now. Same with these cactuses, but I don't really need the blowers anymore. So just get rid of those. I mean, just like that, we're done. Can you imagine if it was dark like this and there was fog? Like, that would just be outrageous. I'm gonna start putting this stuff out so things are getting eaten. Why not? Slow them down. The blowers aren't gonna slow them down because they just automatically disappear. But here we go. I mean, we're fine. These are the last zombies, I'm guessing. So we got a pumpkin out. We got it. Yeah. Now what the hell is this? Cabbage? Cabbage? Little cabbage catapult? It's the cabbage pult. It hurls cabbages. So what the hell does that mean? Whoa! They even found a way onto your roof! Those are some persistent zombies, dude. You'll need to use cabbage pults here due to your roof's angle. Remember that and you're good to go! Yes, so... As you can see, the roof slopes. And... You can use pea shooters, but they have to be like way out in front. Oh my god, we got the bungee zombies? Shoot, man. Well, for that we'll go with cherry bombs. Squashes, I want nuts, pumpkins, jalapeno. I mean, right now it's just like all TSPPs because there's really no reason to be using other stuff. And yeah, we'll go with the mine. Why not? Let's do it. Yeah, if you try and use pea shooters back here, it just ends up hitting, hitting like the next tile of the roof. So up here, they'll actually make it across. But you don't want stuff here. That's like two thirds of the way across the screen. Stuff won't live very long. Maybe the repeaters, but it's more fun to use the cabbage pults. And we'll get another one in a little bit. But the mines still work. So that's good. Also, you notice the pots and they have little faces too. They're adorable. And they, they get eaten. They eat the plant and then they have to eat the pot. So it slows them down. But you can't plant anything without a pot. So if they start eating pots, like, you're in big trouble. So get him... get him gone here. Let's see. So now we got the cabbage pulled. I may have had enough time to get the mine out, but I just... I don't know. Maybe for the next one? So we can collect more sun? I'm definitely not doing two columns of sunflowers for this. And this is why I say the double sunflower can really come in handy. Because then you essentially have two columns of sunflowers in one. But th these pots are too valuable to be loading them up with sunflowers. I know that sounds kind of backwards, but, you know, you don't want to start planting them all the way up here. It's just you're using all your sun just to have the ability to plant something. So, I don't know. I mean, it's... These are the decisions you have to make. Alright, cabbage pulled. And I think a cabbage is like twice as strong as a pea. So it takes five cabbages to get rid of a regular zombie. And... I don't know... Maybe 15... To get rid of... Actually, here, let's do this. He's got a munch on the pumpkin. I don't want him eating the pot, that's the thing. And I don't want to... Ay ay ay. alright, well here. Well, he's on this row, so we'll just go with two cabbages. So, I mean, if you can fill all these up with cabbages, you'll probably be okay. But we got those dumb bungee zombies to worry about. Those things are- Ah, oh, here he comes! That son of a bitch is going after my son as well. And there's nothing I can do about it. Yep. Alright, well. That's a thing that happened. Actually, we'll put a mine there to deal with the conehead. As you can the zombies really aren't coming that fast. So, I don't have to worry that hard. But... Man, jeez, like, the level progress, we're almost to the last wave, and I have three... I have three cabbage pults out. They've really only come 
on these two rows and then that one. Here we go. This is more like it. This is more like it. I have enough sun now where I can just keep plopping out cabbage poles. I don't need to be... I don't really need to be waiting for stuff anymore. Oh, shit! I don't have anything there. So I'm gonna let these guys stack up and then hit them with a squash or something. We'll just see how it goes. Oh, my goodness. So now it's May 20th, 2024. I only recorded that one episode yesterday. I was so busy. So freaking busy. So I'm glad I was able to get one in for the day, because... I just, I want to keep playing this game, man. And I mean, we're certainly finishing the main game today. And we'll see. I do have stuff I need to get done today. It's just how much time do I want to invest in running errands and chores and stuff versus playing plants versus zombies, man. Like, you can lose a whole day with this game. Yeah, just put one out, man. No! Quit going after- Actually, I'm okay that he's going after the sun because... Shit. What the heck, man? Here, we'll just do that. How about that? We got the, the little baby nut wearing a giant diaper. And... They're not gonna get through that, no way. And I know I have a cherry bomb, but we don't even have to worry about it. We don't have to worry about it. There we go. As soon as his head falls off, we are out of here. I gotta go to the shop and get the roof cleaners, because you'll know I have nothing over here. There's not even lawnmowers. <laughs> like, how are you gonna put lawnmowers on your roof? And pool cleaners? I mean, that would just be silly. So we gotta get the roof cleaners. But let's just see. Okay, all right, hey. Hey, neighbor, got some new items for sale. There we go. You definitely want these. I'm buying those right away. Shoot! I don't have enough for the double sun, man! All right. We'll just have to wait until next level, maybe. Crap. So you need the pots for sure. Oh god, we got buckets and pole vaulters, dude. So let's see, I want the mine. Tall nut, of course. Squash. Shit. We'll go with the cherry bomb. Alright, this is what we got to work with. And there's our roof cleaners. I think I prefer the cherry bomb to the jalapeno right now. Because I can get them bunched up in an area and blow them all up instead of just taking out one row. So... I don't know, that's my strategy. Let's see if it works. I hope this works. And you'll notice now we're back down to just five rows. Shoot! Alright, here we go, here we go. I should start getting the rake just to show it off. Maybe I'll do that next time. I don't, I don't know if we'll have time for another level after this one's over. Shoot, man, plant your sun. Alright. Man, I feel like... Oh, we're further back. Yes, you'll also notice... You'll also notice we've lost a row of pots. So, like, that's, that's great. You know, they just... As if it wasn't bad enough, they just took a row of pots away from us just to do it. What the heck? It's not fair. Alright, start getting the cabbage out. I was really slacking on putting the cabbages out in the last level. We should be a little more... A little more offensive. Take the initiative here. Oh shoot, here we go. Actually, I'll put a mine out just to deal with him, because he'll make it all the way to this pot. But at least the mine will take him out. We, I want to get two columns of cabbages and then the tall nuts. Which maybe I'll even plant new pots for. And then we can put pumpkins on those as well. Alright, so where's the next zombie coming? Oh, and it's a cone head as well! I mean, I can get another mine out, that's fine. Like, that's not the problem, it's just I hate having to keep doing that. Ugh. I love the thud sound it makes when it hits the cone. It's like that hollow plastic sound. Shoot, actually here, let's do this. We'll do that just to... Just to get him slowed down and maybe the cabbage will... Yeah, <laughs> big, big explosion. Hopefully the cabbage pulled. No, it's not gonna be enough. Let's get another one out then. 
Because now it should be. Two of these things, there's no way it's standing up to this. Come on, off with his head! There we go. Yeah, he didn't even get a chance to munch. So now we can get our two... Our two columns of cabbages. And honestly, I could just put a tall nut right there and it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be a waste. I think I'm going to, actually. Just to slow them down all the way at the end. I mean, they got no hope. They got no hope of making it here. So we'll get our last cabbage pulled. Now, it's not really going to protect against the bucket heads. But the cone heads were okay here. And now it's just a matter of getting our tall nuts out. I'm going to save those for the pole vaulters. And the good news is, like, I can put the pot down and they'll just leap over that right away. So let's see, what do we got coming here? Oh, man. It actually is kind of a lot. Shoot. Here, let's get... Let's get... Uh, do I have time? Is that mine going to grow in time? I hope so. If not, I'll put a pumpkin on it. Actually, these zombies might not even live long enough. They won't live long enough to tell the tale. So let's see. I mean, I have plenty of sun. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm thinking, like, what do I want to do here? I could just load these up with mines. Or more cabbage pulse. Oh, thank goodness he's going after my son again. I'd rather him go after the sun. It only costs 50 to replace it. Versus 100 for the cabbage pulse. So... Keep that in mind. No! The tall nut's crying! Sad! Don't make my tall nut cry, man! <laughs> Here, let's, let's protect him for a little bit longer. I love how the pumpkin just perfectly fits it, too. Alright, this, this works out well, because I'll just let that mine take out the bucket. And then I'll replace it with the cabbage pulse. Actually, might as well just start coming out with a new row of pots here. I like the bucket sound, too. Like, the sound effects in the game are on point. You know, like, it sounds like something hitting a bucket. And the cone is just that dull, hollow thud. And, of course, the music. Can't stop gushing about the music. You can't play this game and not gush about the music. Spadow! Okay, so we got three columns of cabbage pulse. I mean, nothing's even getting, like, halfway across the roof here. Like, the flat part of the roof, that is. All right, bucket guy might. No, they hit the pumpkin! That's fine. If, if they bust through this, I'll just, I'll just squash them. Shit! There we go. Because the, the pots don't have... The pots don't have a lot of health, so... There we go. Fresh tall nut. Oh, shit. This guy's getting through. He's not long for this world, though. But yeah, the, as you can see, the pumpkin's so useful, because it's, it's basically just another tall nut, except now I can still plant something here. So it's like the tall nut was recharging. This was all I had for defense. And, I mean, I could just put something else in there. And it'll be great. Oh, shit. Um, you know, squash this guy. Oh, God. Oh, never mind. All right, all right. He didn't survive. Let's just cherry bomb these fools. There we go. Am I going to have enough? No, because I think you only get 50 for each of these. Shoot. So I'm going to need... I'm gonna need another 300. Crap, we're gonna have to go through a whole nother level before I can get the double sun. And here we go, now we got the kernel pulse. And you look at that little dinky thing, and it's like, what the hell? How's that gonna be useful? Well, you'll find out next time. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.